book two. Number one, Chorus from Judas Maccabees. This is a chorus from an opera, so what better piece to sing, right? Ya da 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 dum, ya da 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 dum dum, one, two, three. Ya da 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 dum da da da, ya da da da, one, two, three. Ya da 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 one two three. Ya da 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 Ya da 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 ya da 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 Why sing it? It's good for pitch development. We get the feeling of up and down and big gaps and small gaps. We get the feeling of where the breath needs to be, which is sometimes but not always accompanied by a retake or a bow lift. But even if we're not lifting our bow, we still need to breathe. As musicians, you've got to breathe and that's an intuitive and helpful way to learn phrasing. If you can breathe in the music and find the breaths, then you can phrase. Then you can work on shaping the phrase and putting crescendos and decrescendos and dynamics in. And that's when your music becomes music rather than a collection of sounds that you've just crammed together. So let's do a playthrough. I'm going to play through. You might listen or you might play along with me. And then we can talk about some of the niggly tricks in here. One, two, three. Oh. depends. If you've been playing your book one every day, this is a really easy piece. Resonant third fingers, C naturals and C sharps. That's okay, we covered those pretty thoroughly from Etude and Gossip Gavotte. Yeah, cool. Here's the niggly bar. Bar 13. Oh, unlucky 13. The notes are... Hmm. We need to set the fourth finger on really accurately. Find a ringing four for me. Ready, play. Should make your E string vibrate in sympathy because that's an E natural as well. Ready, play. Mm-hmm, drop your hand away. Come back up and find it. <gasps> drop your hand away. Come back up and find it. <gasps> okay, now let's put the D sharp on. Squash it right behind. Let's do it again. Drop off, come back, find the four, squash, E. Oh, I like that E, that's like a little rest after the tricky part. Again. Super, one more time. Drop first finger on. Let's do those four notes again. Ready, play. Now, the first time you try it, you might not get all your fourth fingers to ring, but if you keep practicing like this every day, you'll get a higher and higher strike rate on it, okay? Fourth finger on. Mm 
Let's play each note singly now. Four, three, E, one. Just short bows per each note. Good, nice short staccato. Ready, go. One more time. Now let's play down, 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 down. Ready, go. Great, heavy bow so that we don't use it all up. Your bow is going really slowly while your finger's going fast. Cool, again. One more time. Now, let's just add our next mm, four notes on. Ready, go. Up, up, hold, hold. Right, let's go again. Quaver, quaver, clutch it. Minum, minum. Again. Great. You could also say, mm, busy, busy, stop, stop. One, two, one, two. The possibilities are endless. I just find it helps to have some words that back up the rhythm I'm trying to play. So the slurs are pretty easy, right? Okay. This feeling of a dotted crotchet tied to a quaver is new. Um, previously, we've just been tying even notes together, like. Oh. Now we've got this feeling of holding to the last minute. It's a bit like Happy Farmer, but not really. Let's just play. Again, ready, go. I'm standing like this so you can see my bow crossing, because I'm playing A. D. Again. One more time. If that's tricky and you're having trouble with the bow division, find the halfway point and then find the quarter points and think one, two, three, four. Divide your bow into quarters and then each quarter gets a quaver value. The dotted crotchet is worth three quavers. One, two, three, four. Ready? One more time. Play. Yeah. So if bow division helps with the bow direction, put some tape on the bow, some stickers on the bow, and just make it easy for yourself. It doesn't have to be a drama. Doesn't that happen? Oh, okay. That happens at the end of the second line. It happens right at the end because we play the whole first phrase again. I feel like playing is easier. I don't know why. Maybe because it's an up bow. No, I do know why. Because it's all on the A string. Have a try. You'll see I'm right. The only thing we have to do is put the third finger on. We don't have to cross. Go again. Yeah. I think they're the only hard bits. What do you reckon? Hmm. One more time from the start. Don't forget to breathe. Straight bows.
I hope that helps you and I look forward to hearing your Judas Maccabeus full of big ringing resonant third and fourth fingers.